So students, I am going to continue exercise 3.3, question number 3. Can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B equal to 180 degree? If I say by, if I see the property adjacent angle, okay, some of the adjacent angle are supplementary, then yes, it is. But the quadrilaterals may be a parallelogram, but not always. Why? If both the angles is equal to 90 degree and 90 degree, then it's equal to 180 degree, okay? And they should be equal, right? They should be equal. But if one angle is 89 degree and another angle is, uh, another angle is uh, 81 degree, then it is not equal, okay? Both the angles should be 90 degree, okay? So, so if angle D and angle B is equal to 90 degree, okay, property, I will just mention sum of adjacent angles are supplementary, all of you know, okay, sum of adjacent angles are supplementary, then yes, but the quadrilateral may be a parallelogram, but not always, why? If this angle 89 and this angle is 81, check, not equal. And we know also opposite angles are equals, right? So this is number one. Number two, AB equal to DC is equal to 8 centimeter, AD is equal to 4 centimeter and BC equal to 4.4 centimeter, okay? So if we draw one parallelogram, let's check this one only. Okay, so here the question is saying AB is equal to DC. AB it's 8 centimeter is equal to DC is 8 centimeter. Okay, it means this side is equal to this side. And this side is given 4 centimeter and this side is given 4.4 centimeter. Okay, which is not equal. This and this side is equal but this side and this side is not equal if we check. So, a simple reason, opposite sides, AD and BC are not equal, it cannot be a parallelogram. Okay, number B, opposite sides, uh, opposite sides, simple AC and BD are not equal equal okay therefore it cannot be a parallelogram next number three angle a is equal to 70 degree and angle c is equal to 65 degree okay so if we check i will draw one parallelogram a, B, C, D. Angle A is 70 degree, angle B is 65 degree. By looking this figure, we can say directly no. Why? Because opposite angles are not equal. Okay? Because angle C, angle A and angle C is not equal. If the same values for both sides, right, for both the angles, for both the angles, then yes, but here one angle is 70 degree and another angle is 65 degree. Therefore, it is not true. So, solution number 3, angle A is not equal to angle C. Why? Opposite angles are not equal. Okay, opposite angles are not equal. Therefore, it cannot be a, it cannot be a parallelogram. So, this is your solution number 3. I hope students, all of you clear with this. Okay. If there is any doubt or queries, you can clear. Now, question number four. Draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles of 
equal measure. Okay, draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral. That is not a parallelogram. Okay, that is not a parallelogram, but exactly two opposite angles of equal measures. So if we check, it is kite. Okay, we have already explained also, and I already told to go through the properties from the last page of this chapter. So it is a kite. If we check the diagram of the kite, hmm. So this is the diagram of the kite. Okay. So in this diagram, this angle and this angle is always equal. Okay. Okay. So by looking the question, exactly two opposite angles are of equal measure means angle B is equal to angle D. Okay. Reason in the adjoining figure number four solution. Okay. In the adjoining figure A B C D is not a parallelogram such that opposite angles angle B and D are equal. Okay. Therefore, it is a kite. This is the solution number four. This is solution number four. Now, question number five. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Okay. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Means three, four angles are there. So we have to find for four angles value. Okay. So let's see the solution. Number five. Okay, solution number five. Let A B C D A B C D is a parallelogram in which adjacent angles angle A and B. I mark angle A and B, okay, are three X and two X respectively, since adjacent angles are supplementary. Adjacent angles are supplementary, so is equal to 180 degree. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. So ratios will put up here 3x plus 2x, which is equal to 180 degree. So 5x is equal to 180 degree divided by 5. 180 degree divided by 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 threes are 15. 5 six are 30. So x is equal to 36 degree okay so if we got x is 36 degree let's find angle a angle a is equal to 3x okay so 3 into 36 which is equal to 3 3 3 6 are 18 1 3 3 are 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so 108 degree angle b is equal to 2x which is equal to 2 into 36 is equal to 2 6 are 12 1 2 3 are 6 6 plus 1 is 72 degree okay angle b how much we got 72 degree now we got two angles, angle A and angle B. Angle A we got 108 degree and angle B we got 72 degree. It's very easy to find angle C and angle D. Why? Because angle C will be opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal means angle A and angle D is equal to angle B. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So angle A is equal to angle C is equal to 108 degree reason opposite angles are equal angle B is equal to angle D 72 degree opposite angles are equal so we got value for each and every angle, right? Question said, find the major of each of the angles of the parallelogram. So we got, therefore, angle A equal to 108 degree, 
angle B is equal to 72 degree, angle C is equal to 108 degree and angle D is equal to 72 degree. So this is your solution number 5. I hope children it's clear. Okay. So please if there is any queries or doubt ask. Thank you.